I'm Fisha Zainan and I'm the application engineer for the product Moses. I'll be giving this TED Talk session about understanding equilibrium in Moses. This TED Talk will help you to find a strategy in finding equilibrium in Moses for your offshore installations. The offshore installation require the engineering analysis for the safety in the offshore operations and the engineering analysis we require the equilibrium configuration such as for mooring lines or cables therefore the equilibrium equation is introduced to suit the problem physically and stationary condition however in the equations when there are non-linear equations the numerical problem will come out and we require the numerical techniques to solve the equations the non-linear characteristics such as for the catenary mooring lines should be accurately considered in establishing the mean offset by a stable equilibrium position. Moses has capability in finding equilibrium configuration of the system even though you model with conservative forces to develop the potential forces equations. In the appending analysis, we need to find the equilibrium position when the jacket condition has been moved. Moses will find the equilibrium position by iteration until either the residual is less than the tolerances or until the default maximum iterations are taken. The equilibrium position could be determined in the couple of stages such as based on iterative procedure or considering separately the equilibrium condition of vertical forces, transverse moments, and longitudinal moments. In this, present, in this presentation, you will see for the complicated system where the position is far away from equilibrium condition and in any case it requires long competition times but the numerical calculation have been successfully carried out for the different geometries and condition. Therefore, the analysis of all the operations shown so far will benefit from an understanding of a static equilibrium position. Determining equilibrium is important for system because the equilibrium position and the orientation will affect the performance of the system. The objective of this presentation is to present the NIQ command in various scenarios for you better understanding how to use it. In this presentation, we will talk about the common issues in finding equilibrium. We will see the default setting on the NIQ command during the above, we will be looking at solutions in finding equilibrium configurations. In the engineering world, there are two ways for finding equilibrium and there is the difference between optimizing design variables and numerically searching for equilibrium position. Even though a selection of system properties precedes the numerical iterations, we are most comfortable with algorithm which allows swift and repetitive alternation between these two stages in design. The mean position of the system in an environmental state is computed by finding the position where the equilibrium is established between the mean environmentalist and the restoring forces from the system. Therefore, in this presentation, I'll demonstrate finding equilibrium by changing the position works with and without connectors. This is because the change in position will change the connector forces and the moment on the body. This is the position in which the sum of all external and restoring forces on the body system equals to zero. When we talk about equilibrium, this is what we want. We want the line and force to have all zeros. 
In the engineering analysis, we need to determine the equilibrium position of the body system under the influence of external forces. We need to define the equilibrium between the main environmental loads of winds, wave and current on the system and restoring characteristic of static horizontal marine system. Once the equilibrium position, position has been found, the time domain simulation can be done. Moses has capability of defining a variety of environmental forces as shown on the screen. Moses incorporates a procedure Newton's method to solve the nonlinear equations for finding equilibrium. The graph is showing how the program works. It starts somewhere on the curve, then it moves past the equilibrium position, then it moves back. But this time it lands nearer the equilibrium position. Then it keeps moving back and forth until it reaches the tolerance. These are the common issues we are receiving for many times of question that why equilibrium is different for the same environment. The asset of environmental data and the NIQ command have been issued for two times at the same environment as shown with the rectangles. There is a heading of 145 degrees, the significant wave height of 4 and the wave period of 8. In fact, we will have a new equilibrium position when the environmental forces are applied to the system. This is because most of finding equilibrium by depending on where you start the command and the equilibrium could arrive at a different solution and there could be more than one solution. This is very useful information that you should know for you to feel and to decide what you should do once you have problem in equilibrium. This is the default setting in the NIQ command. There are two types, one for the system with non-flexible connectors and one for the system with flexible connectors. The values shown are the default values. Here, the, here is the two situations for finding equilibrium masses. We will we'll first go through about finding equilibrium for, of the system by looking at body size of the system. In order to check the behavior in numerical terms used for the system body, there is a procedure was applied to two simple cases that are representative to, of two quite different marine structures. We have large structure or large body and we have small structure or small body. There are various options that we'll be using later. We will examine the position that are characterized by the center of gravity and the weights. And here we go with the default option of the NIQ command. This is the different equilibrium condition obtained for the simply varying the position of the center of gravity and the weights. There is the iteration number for all condition analyzed. The method converges as expected. We have one, we have on the desired stable equilibrium position. However, please note that the equilibrium position was found with 35 iterations and 25 iterations. Both equilibrium position were found with less than 50 iterations by means less than the default iterations. This is the equilibrium position research technique which can be improved by adopting 
adopting a higher order approach that is by taking the command options we start with the maximum iteration options here the number of iterations are increased to 100 here the starting position was changed from what was presented earlier remember the equilibrium position is dependent on where the starting point is since the starting position has been changed we are guessing that we will need a larger number of iterations and here we are guessing that MOSES needs more iteration as the fact that computers are digital not analog and we know that if the computers were analog we could always find the force equal to zero but because of the computers are digital we are going to have to accept something that is not zero we know that we can accept the 1% to 10% errors as expected there is the numerical result obtained by using this option this time it took 73 iteration to converge it's apparent that the convergence is much higher the improvements are obtained not only in the maximum iteration by default setting but also in the next iteration but the computing times are considerably higher we move to tolerance option this is about the tolerance option there is the same set of commands this one we change the tolerance there is to increase the number of iteration in order for it to converge the program will stop prematurely as it set up of 33 maximum iterations with the specified tolerance this the results the, uh, the iteration did not converge because of the tolerance or the function evaluation did not allow within the tolerance as I mentioned earlier Moses finding the equilibrium position by depending on where you start the command and it went up at a different solution and there could be more than one solution For your information, there are several functions of iteration for finding equilibrium position so that this is only will show up as a warning message, not an error message. It's depending on the values used for the option. This message can appear and the residual net force be near zero. This we should know of how the equilibrium commands works and how muscles communicate to have you more confidence in the results. So far we have been looking at one body and what about two bodies? For two bodies we have a deck weight of 10,800 and the spreader bar has weight of 5. This time I've changed the tolerance to 0.01. Here the, the reason of the warning appear is the spread body is not within tolerance. This the case there is a uh, engineering judgment is required to conclude that the deck body is greater interest to the project and the body spread is controlling the message. This is the tolerance set to 0.01. The next slide I change the tolerance. However, for this case being presented, the engineering judgment is required. Here the tolerance was changed to 0.1. There is the acceptable tolerance has been found. However, to define the acceptable tolerance, we need a judgment based on your experience and your knowledge the last point to talk about is the use of omega 
As before, while we talking about them, we review several sets of results. Here the results and as you can see the red box where the warnings appear, there is a large step are needed if we want to get close within the maximum number of iterations. You see the position is almost the same. In both tries, equilibrium was not found. To have the largest steps, we need to increase the limits on step size. Moses uses a formulation to increase the limits on step size. The frag is limiting the step size. There is to minimize the chance of a singular stiffness and also reduces the step size. To avoid a possible singularity in the stiffness, Moses augments the stiffness with a fraction of the initial in the stiffness equation. We can specify a fraction to fix the singularity problem because for decrease of freedom where k is not singular, the initial term will be negligible and for singular degrees of freedom k, it adds a term on the diagonal. The computation of the floating unit's static equilibrium position is obtained by applying the catenary equilibrium equation to each mooring line in order to obtain the out of valence forces on the unit and by using an iterative process to compute the final unit equilibrium position. As user, a new static equilibrium position of floating unit is computed by solving the nonlinear equations. The computation is repeated until it reaches its final static equilibrium position. However, for the floating unit, we could have a problem where there is non-stiffness in such sway and yo, so that blindly applying a Newton method and small stiffness, the small extra can actually Worf the stiffness. Therefore, to fix here, we have to increase the fraction. We see that it just needed to move a smaller step than it was taken before. It only took 35 iterations to find. Now we know that Moses is a tool and it will do on what you instruct. So if we ask Moses to accept a large intolerance and this resulted in a very bad equilibrium report, so we could change the input needs until we, we find what we want. I have covered all the options for finding equilibrium by changing the position. Thank you.